This is uh, yet another artwork, uh, which in my opinion does need uh, explanation and some kind of uh, factual backup uh, or artist's uh, explanation to to bring closer to, to the viewer the idea of what are we uh, aiming for here. Uh, the artwork is called St. Luke Painting a Crucifixion and uh, it is a contemporary artwork obviously that uh, has been displayed uh, in the Blake Prize in uh, Sydney in 2004 wherein I tried to tread that fine line between the ambiguity and, uh, and the obvious if you like. Uh, here we have um, uh, uh, Saint Luke who, according to uh, the belief of many, uh, was the first artist uh, or first painter to paint an icon of uh, Mary with child Jesus, which became, according to those who believe in it, uh, a prototype uh, or model for the forthcoming uh, subsequent icons of uh, mother and child in the traditional Orthodox iconography. Um, the, the figure of St. Luke is um, taken from the famous uh, Serbian icon, um, one of the most successful uh, depictions of St. Luke I have ever seen in the iconic tradition. And it is done obviously in, the, in a, a replicated way to, um, to bring closer the most, uh, the, the, the most possible uh, closeness uh, between the tradition, iconic tradition, and something contemporary. Now, Christ is uh, standing this time in front of the crucifixion itself, and he's painting the crucifixion. That is that kind of parallel or, or allusion to him uh, painting an icon of Mary and child. This time he's painting a crucifixion, and what we find uh, unusual and extraordinary is that what he paints is different from what he sees. This is the allusion to the discrepancy between, between our renditions of, uh, of, uh, of an event or, uh, or, or uh, emotions or uh, anything factual in life that happened, uh, that uh, we differ one from another with our stories of uh, how the event took place, about its details, etc. Et Even the four Gospels are different, they are not coinciding 100%. Uh, the way St. Luke is painted and, uh, and the icon of uh, crucified Christ are deliberately painted in the traditional iconic way to stand for one world, traditional, ancient, etc. As opposed to the chaotic, confused, ever-involving, active, uh, together with the crucifixion itself, ever-evolving world around us. Then the, the fragmented uh, frame, uh, which I uh, adopted some years ago and uh, keep using it very often, and which became uh, again my trademark, um, uh, is something uh, uh, representative or symbolical of uh, the fragmentary nature of our lives, of life in general. Um, the colors dark, black, and uh, and red and blue are borrowed from the iconic tradition, red standing for the uh, divine nature of Christ, blue for the human nature of Christ, uh, black for the death uh, that we all have to undergo in order to be reborn again. So the painting has been done with uh, uh, tempera and uh, with usage of pure gold, Dutch gold and uh, some other different uh, techniques uh, accompanying tempera and its dimensions are 1 meter 20 by 90 centimeters.